It's been five months since session 1.0 released and we finally have an update. So far this update only released on PC, so console players, you're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. Sometime in March is uh, when the console is supposed to get an update, but PC players get this update right now. Okay, so the first thing I notice here is there's a little circle right under where I spawn. So I guess this is gonna show all the spawn points. And I wanna test something. Okay, so it's actually gonna show you all of your spawning points. It even shows you if you were on your feet or on your board when you spawned. Look at this, board, feet. Okay, that's pretty sick already. Okay, I thought the pause menu was gonna get like a different look. It just got reorganized a little bit. Experimental is now in options. Still all the same stuff in here though. At least we know the update doesn't reset your save file, so you're good. Doesn't look like there's any new map to this update. So the new map that they teased on their social media, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be DLC coming at a later date. I'm wondering if any of the flip tricks feel different. I don't think they do. Nah, they're, they're the exact same so far. What's this new little thing? Oh, I think it tells you where the skate shop is. That might be a little bit annoying to have on screen all the time. Oh, okay, okay. So if you go to uh, options and then go to display, you can see shop tracker on and off. That's good. Let's turn that off and then it should go away. Let's reload the map. We'll see if it uh, shows up again. Uh, it doesn't go away. It's already not working. We can see if they have any new hat. Okay, so they have uh, the FTP hat. Oh, liquid death, okay. Oh, and then we got Crux t-shirts, which means we have Crux trucks in here. Oh, a long sleeve shirt. Still no variants of hoodie down for these ones. On my screen, that looks more like a red hoodie, not an orange one. Yeah, we do have hoodies that are down. So let's go with, um, let's go with the Crux one. Why not? Lower body. Do we have anything different? No, we don't. Any new shoes? Okay, so we got some more Adidas. We got some more DC shoes. Okay, okay. A couple new Roger boards. So anything with this little circle next to it, these are going to be the new items in your shoes shop so you'll know what's new a ribs man board okay there's a couple new grip tapes too that's definitely something else all right we got the crux trucks here and we got tensor mag lights and thunder trucks and venture trucks i think i gotta go with these we got some cruiser wheel i swear these weren't here before there we go we got some spitfire wheels and then we should have a couple of new diy objects we can buy so we'll buy the bench we'll buy the car buy the manual pad little bank this A-frame and this little pyramid. Okay, so the shop thing does not go away. Put our new setup to the test. Kickflip front feeble. I like how I'm wearing a Crux hoodie, but I have like Thunder Trucks. Now I know that they messed around with the grind sounds, so let's uh, let's check out some grind sounds here. I know that was a lot of wheel touching. That was like quiet for a grind sound. Hang on, let's do. It sounds like dulled down, like it sounds like muffled. It's a quartz light sounds okay. Oh, hang on, wait. <laughs> oh, we now have like the, the colliding sound with the board. <laughs> Someone just mentioned that uh, there's flat spot sounds. So I'm just gonna keep doing power slides for a little while. See if we can get these to flat spot. We don't have a car that we can like drag the board behind like the professional testers do. I wonder if they uh, fixed kinked rail. No, they didn't fix kink rails. Actually, to be fair, I was going kind of fast. Hang on. Nah, they didn't fix it. Oh, they changed this little car up. They they broke its wheels and they added this little like manual pad thing on the top of it. I gotta see if I can get rid of that shop thing. Like it's disabled in here. It's it's turned off in here. I don't want the shop tracker anymore. So I'm gonna change map and then hopefully it goes away. So the shop should be that way and it's not showing. So that's a good sign. Check out this skate shop. See if there's uh, anything in here. Uh, hi. Okay, this skater right here has like everything complete. Start. I have the maximum exposure right now. Okay, I'm here. Now go talk to you again, okay. Downloadable content DLC 1.1 is missing. So missions are gonna be DLC, but as of right now, there is no extra DLC. The menu feels a little bit smoother, like right there, like transitioning feels a little bit smoother. That was a weird sound. It was like I was transforming. Okay, so you have to uh, reload the actual like full map in order for it to go away. So one thing that was actually mentioned, oh, I'm stuck. For this update was fixes to some of the missions and some of the historical challenges, specifically Welcome to Hell line and Nate's line, but we got to test the Welcome to Hell line here. 
Back lip. We go for kick flip. And again, Ollie. It's always the backside 50 50 that trips me up. Heel flip. Sometimes I get a double heel too, and it's like, oh man. Ollie. Right flip. All right, we gotta slow things down. Now it should work. I, I tried this yesterday just to make sure it was like. What? Not working in the previous build. Yeah, the, the grind sounds and the slide sounds feel like a little bit, well not feel, they sound a little bit like dull. Might be going too slow. Yeah, I turned on trick display just to see if it actually registers all the tricks correctly. Okay, come on, moment of truth. Okay, that should have been it. That should have been it and it still doesn't work. What if they completely took it out? What if them fixing it was just like taking it out of the game completely and it's not even here? Oh! Why did you give up? It should, that should have worked. Okay, no, it, it wasn't fixed. It hasn't been fixed. So there should be a new control setting in this update, being able to use your left stick to turn. It should only be for front foot and back foot, but even on the right side, it doesn't even say anything about left stick turning. It says triggers are used for navigation and rotation. But I'm gonna change the front foot, back foot and see if... Okay, so even though it doesn't say anything about uh, left stick being able to turn, front foot, back foot setting has... Uh, left stick turning instead of just the triggers. You can use triggers too, but you also now can do uh, left stick turning. Now, how is that gonna affect my nollie pressure flips? Okay, so you have to do up, like diagonally up, and then like popovers, I think you pretty much just, yeah, you have to do uh, diagonal. Yeah, you can no longer push straight to the side. Oh, I forgot I did this. So you can no longer push straight to the side anymore. You have to push diagonally down to get into the pocket. And we can still scoop, do a tray flip like that, or uh, we can still do like pressure flips like this. Oops. But yeah, it doesn't seem like you can toggle left stick turning on or off for front foot, back foot controls. So if these are your controls and you don't like left stick turning, I guess you're stuck like that. And I still haven't gotten any flat spots that people are talking about in the Discord right now. Maybe it's because I'm on uh, Spitfire wheels. I don't know. Maybe they just don't flat spot as easily. I know they're not supposed to in real life. But they still do. Garrett has a lot of flat spots anytime he skates them. Oh! There we go, we got the flat spots. I wanna see if they have visible flat spots here. I don't think they're going to. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna have like the sound playing for flat spots. But confirmed there is flat spots in the game. You now have this uh, this ugly sound. I don't think it affects your speed though. Like uh, ever since 0.0.0.5, uh, we no longer slow down. We just roll forever. Okay, I'm gonna change to a character that doesn't have any of the story missions done. We're gonna see what the tracker looks like now. Oh, okay, new tutorial. I kind of forgot about this actually, so this might have to be a completely different video. So you can skip the tutorial, and if you do skip it and you wanna go back, you can always go back to it later. All right, so there, there's the new uh, mission HUD. And as before, left stick clicked in and uh, you can bring it up. Oh! And then we got next and previous missions. I think that in the top corner gets turned off. And then we can, okay, yeah, so we can push it on and off. And the logo is now yellow, okay. Can we skip it? No, we, we still can't skip this. Come on, guys. Let us skip these cutscenes. All I want to do is just complete enough to get multiple challenges unlocked so we can see like kind of what it looks like. Does his board change? Does, does he have a new board now? Now, can we actually talk to him again? No, so we can't talk to him again. So once the dialogue is gone, it's it's still gone. You can never read it again. So the one thing I noticed that when you take the bus, it actually auto like places your cursor to uh, where you need to go. So we can go to map, there we go. Yeah, it automatically brings you to where you need to go. So I should have multiple missions now. Um, am I able to just like track whatever one I want within here? Like what if I want this one? Okay, so it does track that one. A change, it should track to that. Okay, okay, that actually makes things so much easier. Yeah, okay, that's, that's pretty sick, I like this. We can still come in here and track things manually this way. So like if I wanted to untrack this and get rid of that, there we go, no more squigglies. Also for people on PC with AMD cards, apparently in the Discord, people are saying that they did fix that little skybox that you guys have. And I don't think there's been any changes in the replay editor. Actually, that's not true. Apparently it does save uh, the time of day 
okay for the replay editor. Or if you save something, so let's just save this replay as like, I don't know, H, 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 H. Go back to the banks, reload that, and then I'll just like, I don't know, do a trick. Save replay, H, H, H. Let's see what it does. Ah, okay, okay. So it asks if you want to overwrite it because I already have HHH saved. So that's one of the new things in the replay editor. If you have the same name, so if I just do add a J, there we go, I can just save it. It's not going to overwrite your save file if you accidentally name something the exact same as something before. Okay, so this mission right here actually allows you to re-talk to him for once. It's weird that the other missions aren't letting you do that. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get to the skate shop meetup because there's something different with that one. And it's good to know that uh, all the cheese still works in here. Oh yeah, impossible actually wrapped now impossibles are fixed hold up hold up wait 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 pause there we go legit impossibles finally they're back there we go impossibles finally look more like an impossible so now it's telling us to do the shop meetup however it's feeding us different missions so that we get 800 exposure because right now we only have 425, but you need 800 to talk to Donovan first. Because before what would happen is people would come here, they would talk to Donovan being like, oh, like I completed what it wants me to do, but it's saying go to underground and it never actually tells you that you need 800 exposure first. But now what it does is it actually like feeds you other uh, missions and then it'll tell you to go back to Donovan. Okay, so now that I have, or about to have, enough experience, it should tell me to go back to Donovan. There we go. Yo, come back to the shop. See? So it doesn't specifically tell you that you need 800, but you do need 800. Okay, so this was one of the hardest missions in session. It used to be that you had to do this entire line, the switchback tail, the cab flip, the uh, switch nose grind fakie flip, and the switch kick flip all in one line but now apparently you don't have to do it all in one line so let's put that to the test i'm gonna do the switchback tail there you go it counts and i'm just gonna actually just fail and respawn and get off my board and there we go we don't actually have to do it in a line anymore personally i really like the challenge uh having to do it in a line but this specific mission seems like it would be better way later on when the new players are actually better at the game now we gotta do a fakey full cap flip so there we go, we got that. We just gotta do the switch nose grind fakie flip. And then we just gotta do switch kick flip. I gotta check out one more mission right here, Rock Ride. I wanna see if they fixed it at all. So many people get stuck on this one. And one reason is because they're not doing like a pressure flip, they're doing like pressure kick flip or something. But I have proven that uh, the trick detection was terrible. So we gotta ollie up, front side flip. Oh, they actually, hang on, wait, 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 wait. They added more plank to this because it used to be like the actual rock up here. Ollie up, front side flip, and then hard flip. Okay, it actually works a little bit better. We got the ollie, ollie flip, and the switch back side flip. Okay, um, maybe I spoke too soon here because I did ollie. I did an ollie flip and I did the switch backside flip. That's exactly what it asked of me. Try it again. Yeah, that should have been it. That, unless I'm accidentally doing a heel flip, no, I'm doing a switch backside flip. They didn't fix it enough. I actually think that we figured it out and it had something to do with manual catch specifically for this challenge. Or, or not, or, or not. I know that people on auto catch got it pretty easily, especially the devs when they tested, they do it on auto catch. Now we got to do the pressure flip. It's like that, and then the fakey frontside 180, frontside half cap, both the exact same, different name. Okay, so I don't think they fixed it fully, but maybe it works a little bit better. I don't know. The one thing I didn't check, did we get... Oh, okay, so at least it tells you now that uh, the pro skaters can't do missions. Hey, look, I'm noted as a pro skater. But yeah, I wanted to see if they added that new skater that they talked about, that they kind of teased, and doesn't look like they did. Wait, which board do you have now? That looks like a completely new board. It looks pretty cool. So this update didn't add many gameplay fixes or um, animations or anything. Like, the one main gameplay fix that they did was this impossible actually looks proper now some people are saying that the grinds feel a little bit better but like i haven't really noticed it gameplay doesn't feel all that different honestly it was just uh adding a bunch of new things like you know boards and clothing and brands trucks wheels a couple of new objects and a bunch of changes to the story mode and this beam of light that lets you know uh where you set your marker that i kind of wish that you can turn off i mean i, I don't need to know where my marker is all the time because i can just 
just go like this. I'm a little bit sad that they mentioned that the historical challenges, specifically the Welcome to Hell line, was going to be fixed, and it wasn't really. It's still exactly the same as it was before. But there are still a couple of good things in this update. It's not all bad. Ooh. It's just not one that I think is worth waiting the five months for. Like, the one main thing I would want them to fix is, like, all, like, the gameplay issues. But we got to wait for them to hire the right people to do so. Oh, whoops. See if they still have the camera issue. Yeah, they still have the slow camera issue here. But that is going to do it for this video. I'm going to do another video on uh, what the new tutorial is like. I touched on that. No, it was manual. So keep an eye out for that one, and I will catch you there.